Um, do you love it? I learned to love it. I thought, you mean you guys really like it like this? It was like, this is what I look like when I get out of the shower. I think I'm gonna go back into the car till after Jim Bob sees. You'll have to straighten my hair because the wind's gonna oh, blow. Oh, okay, hurry. Desires that can kind of get stirred up and you don't have any accountability and can kind of lead to some hanky-panky. from Without a Crystal Ball. Can you imagine a world in which counting on did not exist, where we didn't have daily doses of the Duggars and people were not obsessing about a family that is famous for having 19 children and family feuds that keep all of you guys engaged on this channel. It's by far- We did the dating thing and we did not have chaperones and we made mistakes in our relationship, uh, but we didn't want our children to have to make those same mistakes. Channel. It's by far your favorite show, and this is going to be the episode where we talk about is Counting On canceled and what's going on with the show. Okay, so Counting On, the Duggars have been on the TV, on our TVs for a zillion years. I think their first aired episode or their first special was around 2004, 2005, and they became a mainstay on TLC for years as they documented the unusual life of this extreme family. Over the years, we have seen the cha the ch a change in the show from documenting the family as a whole and not really filtering a lot of what we saw. We saw the family do a lot of really questionable things along the way. There was an accident that included Jason that a lot of people still have never forgotten and the unusual reaction by Michelle. He's doing great. Jason is a trooper. He has been tough. And there's also been the Josh Duggar scandal. And then there's also been this new version of Counting On where they literally like in the last several, several years do not talk about anything, anything at all. They don't talk about issues. There's no drama. They go on Duggar dashes and they do like events for every single episode, marriage retreats, but there doesn't seem to be a lot of like real life drama that's going on within the family. It's particularly because the bulk of the drama that's happening is with family that's no longer on the show and with people speaking out against the family. That being said, the show has not been on the air since September. That's the last time a show aired for Counting On. It ran from July until September. And so everyone and their mothers and fathers are wondering what's going on with the series. There are some concerning things that people have thought maybe a indication that the show is not coming back. One is that Justin recently got married and TLC made zero announcement about this wedding on their website. They did not acknowledge it on their Instagram or their social media, and they did not talk about it at all, which is bizarre because Kendra and Joseph had a baby and they did a baby announcement for Kendra and Joseph. Ben announced that they were pregnant with their fourth child and they announced that through TLC as long, along with a birth special for Ginger with her baby. So people were like, why haven't, why hasn't TLC acknowledged this wedding? And that is one cue that people think that this is weird because the Duggars have made all their money, a lot of it on the weddings. This has been like a main draw every single season or every other season when one of their kids gets married. So one, TLC completely ignored Justin and Claire's wedding. Second, there has been a lot of secretiveness going on with the family in relation to courtships. Everyone should know by now, if you don't, Jed Duggar is getting married apparently in April. And initial reports were that he was marrying a woman named Lauren Caldwell, who is Kendra Caldwell's sister. but. Indications now point to that he is marrying a woman named Caitlin Nakatsu, who is from Arizona. Their registry on Amazon and another subsequent one that has a password protection indicate that people are actually purchasing these gifts and the gifts are being delivered to Jed and Katie. Given all of that with their, and then with members of the Duggar family telling friends that Jed is getting married in April to a woman in Arizona, and then people saying that people are preparing for an Arizona wedding. Nobody's made any announcements. Jed has never formally said a word about whether or not he's getting married. So again, another courtship that has not been announced. So what's going on there? Sec 
And third, there seems to be another courtship between Jeremiah and a girl named Hannah Wisman, who apparently is a family friend. And again, there has been no announcement. And finally, there seems to be some clues that Jana is courting someone named Stephen w um, Wisman. And again, nothing from the family. With three people in this family courting and literally no indications on their social media, people are starting to think that, oh my gosh, the show is not coming back on the air. And then finally, the Duggars updated their website. So the Duggars updated their website after years of it being very stagnant. And so people on Reddit think that this updated website is a clue that the Duggars have somehow, I don't know, the, because they're doing more with their blogs now, they apparently think that this could be an indication that the show has been canceled. The blog and the updated website were much needed. This website had not been updated in years and it had a very like simplistic format. And I would say that the new updated website was just a more bringing the family into the 2021 and offering more stuff. And Michelle had taken some time off of not covering her or writing on her blog, but before she was constantly updating. So I don't know. Reddit thinks that this is a clue that the show is canceled. So with all of that being said, what do I think about all of this? One, I think the Duggars literally never announce courtships until the show actually announces them themselves. So if you remember, we didn't know anything at all about a potential courtship between Claire and Justin's, uh, Claire Spivey and Justin Duggar until it was not announced on the show. There were clues that this was going on and we had been, do, we did some digging and then we also were able to figure it out just by some accounts that Justin had that he had a girl in his life, but it wasn't announced until it was on the show. So if the show is coming back, this could be why the, the courtships that we're talking about have not been announced and the wedding. If this is going to be an upcoming storyline for the show, if say Jed is, Jed's wedding is being filmed and it's being kept hush hush, and if Jeremiah is courting and Jana, all three of these courtships would be traditional like big draws and all three of these people have been on the show consistently. And because of that, and because they've individually had like storylines around them, like Jed and Jeremiah aren't on the show frequently, but at the same time, they are consistently like on the show, not necessarily with their own storylines, but they're typically included in the family interviews. And the question around these two courting because they're, you know, in their early 20s has often been brought up on the show. So if the three of these people, and then everyone's obsessed with Jana's courtship. So obviously they're going to keep tight anything related to Jana because that would be the biggest draw and by far probably bring in the biggest ratings because at 31 years old, literally everyone wants to know when and if Jana's gonna get married because everyone is like cheering for her to find Mr. Right, okay? So the fact that these three potential courtships have been kept completely silent is another indication to me that the show is still filming. Filming. Next, I don't know that Claire and Justin's wedding would have been filmed anyway because I'm not sure that Claire and Justin are actually going to be on the show. Now they have done some videos and they're saying like, stay tuned for our story as it comes up on Counting On, but Claire and Justin are slated to live in Texas, which will likely make filming very difficult. Knowing that Claire's mom has released a lot of the photos and the suggestion by Claire's mother that this wedding was not filmed and the family being very tight-lipped about not sharing any photos, there's some indication that they just didn't film the wedding and there's also some indication that perhaps uh, Claire and Justin's like courtship wedding won't be a huge draw or a huge part of the show. Again, I don't know. But it's not typical for the Duggars to release a bunch of photos ahead of time before it appears on a show. That sort of goes in line with them not announcing courtships or engagements ahead of time. So they were together for a long time before it was ever public. Secrecy is a key which helps us know whether or not the show is being aired. And then the TLC blog. So one of the other indications to me that suggests that the show is still gonna be happening is because throughout the year in this off season, off season I mean where they're filming and likely doing production, they have been updating on the blog with messages from the family. For instance, they announced Kendra and Joseph's baby being born, Brooklyn. They announced Jessa's pregnancy with Ben. They also announced, uh, they did an update on just a few weeks, just last week, they did an update with Jeremy and Ginger on the baby and on their family. And they've done consistent updates from Claire and Justin about their engagement. If TLC was not invested in the show, they would literally not be posting any updates from the family on their blog. And knowing that 
counting on despite the ratings not being the highest for the channel overall it still has a co core group of people that still are really invested in the family and by the way the Duggars still somehow managed to make the headlines for literally everything and ma maintain a mainstay in the tabloids so it's extremely unlikely to me that they would be doing videos with the family members posting them on their blog and then not have a show coming up TLC does not announce the new seasons until a few weeks before the new season would air. So to give you a point of reference, last year they did not announce until March 28th that the new season of Counting On was going to start in July. So we are only at March 15th and if this is going to go on that same consistent pattern, we could expect an announcement later this month. However, COVID has put a huge draw in the huge fork into this and has delayed production for a lot of shows. TLC delayed the release of Sister Wives by over six weeks, traditionally from when they would start in the beginning of January to the middle of February. So that means that we might not get an announcement about counting on until say May. So fear not, I highly doubt the show has been canceled, but I thought I would address this fully in one video so that you guys can come back and be like breathing a sigh of relief. What are your thoughts about all of this? Tell me in the comments below. Bye guys.